Good morning, friends. Welcome back to another Sandy Reset. Let me let you hear the birds singing this morning. Oh, such a beautiful spring morning. It's really wet, but the birds are super happy this morning. Okay, let's start this Sunday reset off with just a quick grocery haul. Derek was late for a golf game, so he just ran in, threw the groceries on the bar. I kind of sorted through everything. And let me just show you a few things that we pick up from Sam's. Now, we normally buy our groceries at Sam's Wholesale. We'll run into Walmart probably once a month to buy things that we can't get at Sam's or don't want that many items at Sam's that we have to buy like a large um, amount. So let me quickly, I love little short grocery hauls of what people pick up when that grocery shop just kind of gives me some ideas for our home so real quickly Easter's coming so we always have green bean casserole and we always have corn casserole so picked up um my cans of green beans and, my and then I picked up my cans of corn so okay this is uh, my I've started this before my Panera bread broccoli cheddar soup I absolutely love this stuff we ground some turkey meat I add this to my soup and that's pretty much what I have every night for supper this time I'm gonna try the baked um, loaded potato soup I love potato soup so I may not even need to put any turkey in that one for extra protein but we shall see Derek loves this spicy ketchup water burger ketchup up. He loves that. I don't do spicy at all. Just the thought of a jalapeno makes me gag or makes me want to choke. I've had to walk out of restaurants before, guys, because I've got some jalapeno in my mouth. It's just so funny. Okay, Derek has pretty sensitive skin, so we always buy this all free and clear. We like to use the liquid, not the powder. And let's see, then I bought a variety this time of coffee. I've been trying not to use a lot of K-Cups. I've bought some grounded Starbucks coffee that I've been trying to use up. But I went ahead, I do like Matt Cafe. That's my favorite coffee. I love McDonald's coffee. It is just the best. So I did this time just buy a variety pack of them. It's a little bit more expensive than like I would just if I just bought the whole box of Mac, Mac Cafe, but I want to try something different. So, uh, Courtney likes it's Easter again, and so for Easter, I'm hoping Courtney will make, they're called mashed, let's see, mashed potatoes. They're not, let's see if I can explain it. You don't uh, cook them and mash them up. You actually take the whole potato, uh, put them on a baking sheet, um, smash it, and maybe cook it, and then maybe smash it, and then put some seasoning on it. Anyway, they are delicious, and so these little potatoes are the best for that. And then I'm gonna go, um, and and then just for everyday mashed potatoes, we love this fully cooked uh, Yukon Gold mashed potatoes that you heat in the microwave. We love these, so who knows? I may do both of those for Easter. I don't know, whichever ones the kids want. Um, we did a charcuterie board from a local cafe in our hometown, and she had these okras on here, and my daughter-in-law found out that she loves them, so I picked up some of these for Vanessa. So, of course, sweet tea. I picked up just a big girl drink back there, um, Derek's favorite snacks is this honey and vanilla newt and fruit nut and fruit clusters that he gets from sam's he loves to step at night after supper just some dove um um, rest restore shampoo Derek loves this stuff um, some regular paper plates we use paper plates a pretty good bit around here so and then I got these sweet little Easter plates for Easter oh my gosh aren't they so sweet so we'll be eating our Easter dinner on those and no real dishes this year um, always chapstick I think Derek and I are uh, just addicted to chapstick of course he won't use any of these middle ones strawberry cherry <laughs> So he has to claim the originals and then I have to claim the middle ones. But anyway, we are huge chapstick people around here. A sweet little book for Lainey of all the farm animals. We didn't get JD anything this time. Um, these sweet little Easter eggs that I'm gonna put out for Easter. Love these, these are delicious. They're like little cake balls. Let's see if I can give you the price on those. Those are $19.99. Yes, they were expensive. And I'm going to try not to eat all these before Easter gets here. Um, forgot to mention these avocados that Derek pretty much eats every night with whatever meal he's having. And then last but not least, I needed just something new to um, 
in the morning time when I get up for my daily devotionals. I haven't been very good at it lately. So I thought, well, maybe I'll pick up something new that'll kind of give me a jump start to actually when I get up at 4 a.m. Instead of just jumping right into editing my videos or something with my YouTube channel, I need to do more as studying my Bible. So I got Whatever You Ask, Weekly Prayer Journal for Women. It was $13.56. I love prayer journals. They definitely keep me rooted in studying God's Word. Um, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. Mark eleven twenty four. So just a really pretty devotional that I can get up and like a journal also. Uh, just reflection, prayer, request. Um, here lately, guys, we've had so many homeless people in our little town. So I've ran across a lot of people, and I try when I give them money or give them food, I ask them if they've got a prayer request. And so I thought this would be good for me to write down, you know, I keep a running a tab of, like right now, I'm praying for Richard. So you guys that are prayer warriors out there, pray for Richard that he finds a job and gets back on his feet. Okay, friends, so that's all I have for my grocery haul. So let's start putting up the groceries and then we can start tidying up the house. Okay, now that we've got through our little mini grocery haul, let's start putting all of our groceries away. Now you guys are gonna be watching this video on Easter Sunday, so happy Easter to you all. I hope that you made it to your church service if you go to church, that your family has come over. Um, if you have family that's close enough to have Easter with you, um, I pray that you have a wonderful uh, Easter Sunday. And let's all remember the true meaning of Easter. Let's remember that Jesus Christ, our personal Savior, died on the cross for our sins. He has risen. He reigns on high. He cares about you. He loves you. And I pray that you've got Jesus in your heart like I do. Okay, friends, so let's quickly get the groceries put up. Now, again, you're going to be seeing this Sunday reset on Easter Sunday. However, I filmed this video the weekend before and just trying to get everything ready for uh, my family to come over for Easter. And so we have a lot to do in today's video. I have got, uh, again, to put the groceries away. I've got some things I need to fill up here in my laundry room and um, just tidy up the house. I've got lots of chores to do today in today's video. I also have a new trash bin that was gifted to me from a company called Ecoa, E-K-O. And so I'm excited to show you guys my new trash bin. For you that have been following me for some time now, you know that I've just completed this laundry makeover. Uh, well, not completely finished my laundry room yet. This wall that you see here, I still have a project to do there. We have been super busy here lately and just not have been able to finish that project. It's not a really big project, nor is it hard. It's just a little time consuming. And hopefully by my next Sunday reset, I will have that project completed. Um, so again, just a few things. I'm going to fill up this OxyClean real quickly. I am thoroughly enjoying all the um, new organization items I got for the laundry room. And I can definitely leave links to all the dip products that you see here that I'm now using to kind of organize this laundry room down in my description box. Okay, so now let's work on some laundry real quickly. You guys know I added this folding table here um, to the left of the dryer so that I would try to stay on top of my laundry. And I've been doing that quite well. However, these are Derek's work clothes. And so we tend to leave these just right here in the laundry room. You'll see me fold up his Wranglers that he wears to work and just lay his work shirts here. Now. I mentioned earlier that I was going to do uh, another project in this back wall and that's going to be more like a shiplap wall with like some pegs on it and that little long sleeve shirt that you see laying there um, that'll be something that we can just like hang on the wall over there that's so it'll be more convenient to Derek you're about to see me fold it up and put it in one of these bins but Derek locks his long sleeve shirts kind of be just to be hang up and more convenient for him so when I get that back wall there done I'm very excited that when I do like iron his 
work shirts that you see there and they're ironed I can just lay, uh, hang them on those peg racks and so I'll show you more about that organizational project that I've got coming up after it's done okay so we've got Derek's clothes ready to go so let's throw some clothes in the dryer and then I'll give you a sneak peek of one of our new pantries that we got here for the laundry room I already had one from Home Depot and I just bought another one just like it and these pantries definitely provide so much more storage for us here in the laundry room Okay, now before I insert the clips of my new trash bin from ECOA, let me say that I filmed these shots uh, a couple of weeks ago when my trash bin first came in. So I'll have a different set of clothes on. But let me start with a before shot of my old trash can. And honestly, it really didn't cross my mind to invest in a new trash can until ECOA reached out to me and I saw just how gorgeous their options of trash bins were. I knew having a new trash bin would definitely go with the aesthetics of my new laundry room. So I was very excited to pick one out and I chose the Eco Casa 36 liter dual trash can with recycle bin. And I instantly, guys, fell in love with this streamlined, rectangular design that they offered. It also nestles perfectly against the wall and the seamlessly optimizing my laundry room layout. And it provides a durable and visual appealing look to the new laundry room. This trash can with its superior stainless steel build is fingerprint resistant, how great is that, which allows me to say goodbye to smudges and hello to a flawless exterior that stays immaculate. One of my favorite features of this dual compartment stainless steel trash can is the foot pedal. I no longer have to touch a trash can lid. And if you noticed in the previous shot of my trash can, I didn't even have the lid on it because they are so much trouble and they get so yucky. So I know already that I am thoroughly going to enjoy this foot pedal. Plus, it's a durable stainless steel foot pedal that is built to last for over 200,000 times of use. I also love the automatic lid closer that this dual trash can provides. There are just so many great options with this trash bin. And another great option that this trash can provides is this lid lock option. I love the fact that I can lock the lid while I'm removing the bins to change out the trash bags. What a great feature. Also in my order came these extra strong bin liners that go in the recyclable bin of the trash can. They fit perfectly inside that bin. And they also provided me a 20% off coupon for when I go to reorder these bin liners that go in the recyclable bin. It also, both bins provide these holes on the side where you can stick in the extra bit of trash bag that usually hangs over the trash can. And so you can tuck that in nicely. So that will allow your trash can to look more aesthetically pleasing. It won't have that trash bag hanging over, which also helps to provide a more streamlined look to this trash bin.
Honestly, friends, I just cannot say enough about this trash bin. This has been the nice trash bin I've ever owned, and I just love all the features that it has on it. I will provide a link below my description box if you want to click on that link. Go on over to ECOA and just check out all the different options that they have in trash bins to offer. I know you won't be disappointed if you decide to purchase one for your home. It would also look really nice in a kitchen, and I just happen to have mine in the laundry room. Okay, friends, so what do you think? I'm absolutely in love with this trash can, if that's even a thing, but it looks so good compared to what I did have, so I'm perfectly happy with this trash can. It has now been probably three weeks, guys, since I've been using it, and it certainly is fingerprint resistant. It does such a good job with that. I'm not a good... Um, a stainless steel person because of the fingerprints but let me tell you when it says it's fingerprint resistant and smudge resistant it truly is okay so now let's get back into our prior video and let's finish tidying up the kitchen we have a few more things to put away and then we're going to move into my office slash grandkids playroom there are several things i need to straighten up in there i need to do vacuuming i need to tidy up some and i don't show that room much here on my channel so we'll move into my office in just a second and get that room tidied up. For any of my friends out there that are new to my channel and haven't really seen this bedroom before, this was actually my youngest son Jay's bedroom when he was growing up. Actually, Lainey's dad. Uh, this was his room. I did leave some of his pictures there to the far left on the wall. He was a big athlete in school, and we so enjoyed raising him and watching him with all of his um, activities. Our daughter was very athletic. Our son Jonathan was very athletic. So we've had a lot of fun um, raising our children, and now, of course, seeing our grandchildren being raised by them. So our family is truly, truly blessed. Um, so let me take a second real fast. Again, I turned this into my office slash the kids' grand. Um, the grandbaby's room and so there's a lot going on in this room I've got a desk there to the very left you'll see that in a second I have my walking pad there that folds up against the wall I've got a couple of antiques that were my precious mother-in-law's and my husband's grandmother's are Mimi Dawson's so I like to keep my antiques in this room and then you see the TV stand there with the television for the kids to watch cartoons and there is a play I'm sorry there is a toy box to the left right there is a toy box that was Derek's as a kid his mother kept so many of his things and we are just truly honored that we could use this toy box I did paint it white to make it a little bit um, aesthetically pleasing here in this playroom but that was Derek's toy box I don't know if I'll show this maybe in a second you'll see it it's a little dinosaur that you ride on that was Derek's when he was a child so um, all of our grandkids have rode on this little toy. It's been so, so sweet. So let's get all the toys picked up and then we'll move over to my desk and we'll get my desk cleaned off. It was a disaster at this day. And uh, so watch me as I tidy up this room and get it wiped down a little bit.
guys, there's that little wooden toy. And now that I see it, I think it's a giraffe. It's not a dinosaur. But that was Derek's little uh, riding toy when he was a little boy. And so was the little rocking chair that's there to the right of the television. So we are blessed with lots of little um, toys from Derek's uh, childhood that our grandchildren get to use. Maybe even our great-grandchildren one of these days. But Anyway, so let's do some quick vacuuming, and this room will be completely tidied and clean. Um, I've been looking for a rug to go in here. The last rug I had when I first redid this room was a, a long square rug and a rectangle, I guess. And so this time, I think I want to get like an oval-shaped rug, and I think I also want to get like a jute rug. Um, I've got one in the laundry room that is so soft, and I'm going to see if it comes in an oval shape, and if it does, it's most Exactly what I'm gonna get for this room so hopefully the next time you see me tidy this room I'll have a new rug in here but I do think I need a big throw rug to go in the middle of the room okay so I'm gonna sh quickly show you guys some vacuum lines here in a second and then we're gonna move back into the kitchen Okay, so we're going to move into the kitchen. I'm going to put the dishes up that I had hand washed, rinse out the coffee pot, just do a few more things here in the kitchen. My goal today was to just take the entire day and just get a lot of chores done, especially some of those chores that you'll see here in a second that I don't get done on a weekly basis. I just wanted to cover a lot of ground today and work in a lot of different rooms. Now, usually when I'm cleaning house, though, I usually clean one room at a time. That's normally what I do. I normally you know, go to my bedroom, strip off the sheets, put on new sheets, dust in there, vacuum in there. Um, so I try to do one room at a time. However, today was not that day. Today, I just I had a few interruptions on um, people showing up. Not interruptions, but I guess you could say friends showing up. So I quit filming at one point and started again. Um, so I had to run a couple of errands, so I had to quit filming and then start filming again. So I'm kind of all over the place. And this is also a day where I also had filmed, um, after I cleaned the house, I filmed my spring kitchen. And I posted my spring and Easter kitchen video before the Sunday reset. So you're going to see some things that look a little bit different as far as decorations because I, again, I, I filmed this Sunday video first and got everything cleaned up. And then I filmed my Easter and spring kitchen that you guys saw this past Wednesday. So if you see things a little different, that's why. Um, for anyone that's new today, I work in eight by eight to five job outside of the house and so most of my filming is done on the weekends I usually take uh, like I said all day Saturday and um, sometimes all day Sunday and I try to get one to two videos filmed per weekend now and um, I do not hardly film at all during the week when I get home at five the last thing I want to do is pick up my camera and do any filming uh, so most of my filming is done on the weekends Okay, now that I have the dishwasher and my refrigerator wiped down, we're going to quickly jump into the living room and get it straightened up. Here is a picture of the shiplap 
I'm not shiplap, I'm sorry, beadboard paneling that we picked up from Lowe's. And this is uh, what we're going to use to complete our project in the laundry room. I had a work conference um, this week, and so I've been in Fort Worth a few days, which kind of put us behind. But hopefully this upcoming um, weekend, we'll be able to finish up that laundry room. Real fast, I want to show you this really gorgeous computer bag that I pick up off of Amazon. I'll link it below for you guys. I am someone that has to tote around my laptop with me. I take it to and from work. I've been looking for a nice um, computer bag for a while now. I don't really didn't really want a leather. I didn't really want anything black. I just wanted something more sophisticated. And I follow a budgeting channel. Um, her name is Emily. Her channel is called The Aesthetic Dollar. And she showed in one of her blogs her computer bag, which is this one. And I just had to have it. I asked her for the link. She gave it to me. Thank you, Emily. And I ordered it like that day. It is very roomy. It holds, as you can see here, my laptop. It holds my battery. It holds my mouse. And it holds all of my planners that I have. And I have a lot of planners. This planner here is just my daily, everyday planner. It's from She Plans. And then this big planner is my happy, it's from the Happy Planner. And it is more of my content for my YouTube channel. And then you'll see this, um, this is my envelope system where I save up my money for different things. I mentioned I saved up money for my laundry room makeover and I've got a home project envelope in that small one. And so that's what I save my money in when I get paid for YouTube and my paychecks and then this is an A5 planner and that's how I budget out my paycheck. I carry a lot of different things and this computer bag is perfect guys. Okay so now just we're going to tidy up some pillows so that's all we have left to do here in the living room and then we're going to move back into the kitchen. Like I said I'm all over the place today but we have another uh, big project to do, another cleaning project to do in the kitchen. I know in this past Wednesday's video I was climbing on the bar and today I'll be climbing on the bar again um, just some things have to be reached by climbing and this is one of them now this light and the light over my kitchen sink are two areas that I really don't um, clean on a regular basis like I should so you can't really see on film but oh my goodness there were lots of spider webs especially around those little chains that were connecting this uh, light so so I just took a feather duster or a hand duster and just quickly I got all of the dust and the cobwebs off with that little hand duster and then I went back with my handy dandy spray away glass cleaner I love this stuff and then uh, with some paper towels cleaned the lot fixtures um, and then you'll see me do the same process over the kitchen sink now guys I have been looking for just a couple of months now trying to find some new light fixtures for the kitchen um our um home was destroyed like i don't know maybe 70 percent back when hurricane katrina hit texas and a, a big huge oak tree fell the length of our home just crazy we were actually in our home when it fell um it was my husband and i we were in the den and then my youngest son jay and i think javi one of his good friends were in their bedroom um jay's bedroom playing when we heard the tree start to fall it was quite i don't handle uh, trauma or i don't handle crisis very well at all and i was just ridiculous that day but we were just fine um it didn't look that bad from the inside it did pretty much destroy jonathan's room but from outside looking like at the daycare center that tree covered the whole house so those lots have been up there for several uh, years now of course since we remodeled the house after the hurricane so i've been on the lookout for new lots so hopefully that's a home project i can get done real soon okay now let's do some decorating isn't this green stool just adorable i'm not real sure if i'm going to leave it this green i really like a deeper green um if you saw my decorating video this 
past Wednesday. The Magnolia Cookbook, and uh, it's like a dark forest green. I almost want to paint this stool that color. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Should I leave the stool the color that I found it, or should I go ahead and do a more of a deep forest green on that stool? But I needed something taller in that area, and I think that stool is perfect. Plus, when we play games and have game nights, it'll be an extra um, seat for someone to pull up and sit on. Okay, we're going to just quickly wipe down this um, dining room table with a wet cloth and then we'll get it decorated real quickly for Easter. Now, I know you're watching this on Easter, so it's a little bit too late for Easter decorating. But however, I believe um, that Easter bunnies can stay all through spring and then I can take them away when I start doing my summer decorating. What do you guys think? I love having Easter bunnies up pretty much the whole spring season. Now, something else. My friend Terry asked me not too long ago, Robin, have you got your new dining room table yet? I talked months back, really right before Christmas, that I really wanted Santa to bring me a new dining room table that matches my kitchen hutch. Well, Santa did not like that idea of a new dining room table. He may be a little attached to the dining room table that we have now, and that's okay. I, I try to ask Derek, you know, for big purchases like that, if he's in agreement with it or not. So we are still keeping this dining room table. However, I thought about maybe painting it since Derek wants to keep it. I really want the other dining room table because it has a leaf in it, and you can take the leaf in and out. And because we don't really eat at that dining room table much, it would make more room for the dining room. However, right now, Derek says he'd like to keep this one. So I bought some paint and I'm hoping on my vacation in a couple of weeks that um, I can paint just the top of the dining room table. I'd like to keep the chairs and the legs that dark stain, but maybe just painting the top of the dining room table will add more. It's like a linen, linen color. It'll add more brightness to this dining room because if you see here my couch in my living room is really dark and then this dining room table is really dark and I'm just really trying to lighten up the house um, and it really worked by me painting my walls at agreeable gray so what do you think um, about me painting just the top of this table let me know in the comment section what you think about that but I haven't ran that across Derek yet I think he'll be okay with that as long as we're keeping the table so we shall see okay so then I'm just going to quickly add a simple vignette here to the dining room table I'm going to use that um, magnolia cookbook to continue with my green and I'll add in some of my white dishes and just for a touch of wood which I love to add a wood element along with the white ceramic look I love that um, combination and I've added those wooden spoons and then I've added that salt and pepper shaker and then this sweet little Easter Bunny I think he's absolutely adorable Okay, and of course it would not be a Sunday reset here at the Low House if I didn't clean my favorite screen door. <laughs> Y'all, I've had this for months now and I am so, so, so enjoying this screen door. As you see here, it's all glass and it has like a hidden screen to it. I don't think I opened it up in this video, but there's like a little latch and you pull up that um, 
at the top layer of this door and then there's a hidden screen inside of it and I am all about um, opening my home letting it kind of air out when the weather is great and so I'm really enjoying the screen door so I like it to be picture perfect with no fingerprints no smudges so I clean this door quite often Okay, so we are moving right along with our projects. Guys, I got so much done on this Saturday. Let me show you a new item that I picked up at an antique store. Just wait. Oh my goodness, y'all. It is, he is absolutely gorgeous. He's cast iron and they just got him into the antique shop the day I was out um, filming and doing an antique video for you guys. So I didn't get to film this in my last antique video. I'll link it below because like I said, they were just pulling it out. I didn't want to get in the way, but I mean, it was probably on the shelf like a hot second and I grabbed it up. I have been wanting a scale for some time now to use on the top of my cabinet over in a corner I took down all of the court the, the decor that was on the top of my cabinets um, about a month or so back and I just wanted to put um, things that I really really wanted up there and I had like a certain vibe I wanted to go with I didn't want to do a lot of decor here you can see here that it's all gone and so I'm gonna be very picky on what I put back up here on the top cabinets I don't want a lot I just want kind of a subtle look and I really don't have much height here on the top between the uh, the ceiling and the top of the cabinets I know it may look like a, a rather large area right here on film but it's not because you'll see here in just a second that this scale is not very tall and it just barely fits there I really wanted it to have a lot of room so I could put something kind of cute on top of the scale but I I tried that and it just did not look good it's just too close to the ceiling but as you can see I am so so happy that it fit up there <clears throat> excuse me it was rather pricey I think I paid $52 for it but it was quite but it's gonna be an investment because this is gonna be a staple in my kitchen and it's gonna live here and so I absolutely love of it um I'm also looking for some, another scale to go on my open shelves and I wanted one of those scales that kind of has like um, what do you, how do you want to call that more like a weighing scale I've been looking for those uh, also to buy one to go on my open shelves and I wanted one black but all I did here was add a sweet little sign and a little faux plant and that's all I'm gonna do today what do you guys think I think it adds a sweet little touch here um, to the top of the countertops gives it a little bit of character a little bit of charm I absolutely love it. Okay, friends, we have finally come to the end of this video. We got so much done today. If you're still with me, leave me a thumbs up in the comment section, uh, a smiley face emoji, something to let me know that you're still here. I so appreciate you guys. You are simply the best. Happy Easter to you and your family. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.